YouTubers and fellow hams. Well, there's my SDR plate RSP2, and as you can hear, it's receiving. And if we follow the cable over, this is what's running it. That's a Raspberry Pi 3, donated to me by Terry, one of my viewers. Thank you, Terry. I needed a Raspberry Pi to play around with. First thing I did was got an SDR play running on it. How about that? And up here, on the monitor, and I don't have capture software running, and believe me, I probably couldn't because the Pi is being <laughs> taxed. It's sitting at 78% CPU to, to do this, and as you can see, the display update is not very quick. What we're hearing is... Uh, a harmonic from one of the local AM broadcast stations. So let me uh, get in here. Uh, let me rotate the camera so I can see what I'm doing. Okay. So as you can see, it is definitely working. Let me uh, kill that modulator there. Okay. All right. So this is Cubic SDR running on the Raspberry Pi, Raspbian, the current version of uh, Raspbian. I just downloaded it. Now my build script scripts, my build scripts did work just fine with a fresh install of Raspbian. There was uh, a problem though. The Pulse Audio server in the current Raspbian does not start, and you actually have to make some edits to a file. And uh, I will put these details in the blog entry. But there is a uh, auto start file in slash etsy, etc, slash xdg, slash auto start. And there's a file called pulseaudio.desktop. And what you have to do is you have to edit that file as super user. And uh, there's, an, there's a line in there that's exec equal start dash pulse audio dash x11 and that's telling auto start to to execute that script that starts the pulse audio server and uh it has to be changed um it needs a little bit of a delay for some reason before it it took me a lot of digging to find this but you have to change that line to exec equals slash bin slash sh space dash c that's lowercase c and then space double quotes sleep five semicolon space and then the start dash pulse audio dash x11 and you put a closing double quotes in there so you just have to change that line and reboot and that fixes the pulse audio server not starting on raspbian once that's done if you've run my build scripts um, from my sdr play on linux video uh, you will have Cubic SDR working um, under uh, <laughs> under Raspbian on a Raspberry Pi. Um, this is the Pixel desktop, and it adds a menu item under Ham Radio. Well, I had to add that. Sorry. You have to edit the menus and add Cubic SDR to your menu, or you can run it from the command line, just like I said in my Linux uh, uh, building SDR play for Linux video. Um <clears throat> and it really struggles on the Pi. It really does. It's going to sit here with the CPU at 25% for about 10 to 15 seconds before it's finally going to come up. And then you'll see uh, as it draws how slow it's running. <laughs> so <laughs> it works. I just don't know how usable it is. Um, GQRX, uh, again, does not work. I guess you'd have to uh, uh, compile that completely from source to get it working and I don't know that it would be any quicker uh, it uses the new radio framework so it's also a big project um, but once you've run my scripts by the way the uh, the soapy back in for SDR play is in there so you can actually use new radio so there we go that took gosh 25 30 seconds for this to come up but you can see that it sees the uh, uh, SDR play and if I hit start that's how slow it is 
It is slow. <laughs> it's slow. But there it is. And uh, a couple of things I did under settings. Um, reduced CPU usage helps a little bit. I mean, we're still sitting at 68, 69%. You probably noticed that I had a fan blowing across the Raspberry Pi. Um, if you're sitting there holding the processor at 60, 70, or, or 80 percent, it uh, hits thermal uh, threshold pretty quick, and it'll um, it'll throttle down. So you definitely you definitely need good cooling on your Raspberry Pi. So anyway, um, here it is. It's working, and uh, I don't have a real antenna on it. I just got a bundle of wire sitting on it which is uh, why it was able to pick up that local station. Let's go down to the AM broadcast band, why don't we? Uh, and see if we can find a regular AM station down here. AM mode. Oh, this is so slow. Yeah, way slow. So there you go. That's your heart's desire. There was an awful lot of hum on that, but that's because I got a fluorescent light right above and just a little bundle of wire sitting on the SDR play. So anyway, it does work. I don't know how useful it is because it's so slow, but it does work. So there you go. The SDR play running on a Raspberry Pi. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're not already a subscriber, click to subscribe. Join us on the Facebook channel for discussion about the videos. And if you'd like to help support this channel, please click to support me on my Patreon page.